Okay, so today we're going to be doing a disassembly of a Gateway GWTN141-10BL. This is a 14-inch laptop that is exclusively sold at Walmart according to the their website. And uh, this laptop was brought in because it has a bad solid-state drive. Um, so we're going to be showing you how to disassemble the computer so you can replace parts or do whatever you want. Um, you know, first thing you want to do is make sure that the laptop's off. Um, this laptop has been turned off prior. If you flip it over, you'll see you have this little uh, door cover here. This is for adding an additional solid state drive. So both of the drives in this laptop are regular SATA uh, M.2 drives. They aren't PCIe um, NVMe drives, so you can't swap that out with a faster NVMe drive, you're stuck with SATA drives, but there are two slots. There's one on the board itself and there's one here. So if you want to upgrade storage, it is technically possible. Uh, the memory is not upgradable, but the storage still is. So um, that is one thing that you could upgrade on this laptop. And so with that being said, we'll start taking the laptop apart. We're going to use a uh, magnetic mat here to organize our screws. You'll see we already had two screws here that were holding that door cover in. So I will put those down here for now. And we'll start by taking out the screws. So we have two screws holding the hinges in at both of these corners up here. And then we have three screws here, two on the sides, and then four down here at the bottom. Uh, pretty standard arrangement. So we'll start by taking out the two hinge screws. And these are a little bit of a different size compared to the rest of the screws. So hopefully I can show that the hinge screws are just slightly a bit longer. So these two being the hinge screws, those are a little bit longer. So I'll make sure to separate those so we don't put the wrong screw in when we put it back together. And I will take out the rest of the screws on the side and the bottom there. Take it out. And then we have the four down here at the bottom. Okay, now with those out, it's pretty easy to take the bottom of the laptop off. So we're going to use a guitar pick. This works the best. Um, you're going to want to open the laptop at a angle to the point where you can actually fit your pry tool in there. So if you look, there is a part where you can see where the two plastic pieces separate. So you'll just insert your guitar pick or whatever you're using in between there. Um, don't insert it too far, but probably about a quarter of an inch or so is probably fine. And then you just work your way along the edges and you should hear the bottom separating from the top of the laptop. And the bottom actually comes off on this, so we can now close it and continue working our way around the edges like we did before. And you should hear those clips start to pop. And now the bottom should just lift up like that. And it should come right off. So here we have the battery. We have the SSD. We have that expansion port over here. The fan, heatsink, speakers. And this little uh, board for I.O. on the side. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that they, it does have these little rubber pieces for the LEDs, so make sure that they don't fly out of the laptop when you open it. There's one that goes here, and there's one that goes there, so just make sure those are still on when you put the laptop back together. Um, I'll put them off to the side for now. That way I'll remember that they're there. And now the first thing we'll do is disconnect the battery, so there's no power to the laptop, so that can just be pulled out like so. And we'll also unscrew the battery so while we're here. And for that we have three screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. And this is a pretty simple battery, so it just lays in there with a few screws. It's not taped in or glued down, anything like that. Take out. And put it with the battery screws, and now I should be able to lift the battery out. Now one thing to keep in mind that it does have this antenna wire that's routed underneath this label. So I'll have to lift this label up and unroute that wire. Then the battery should be able to come out. 
Next we have the solid state drive. I'll take this out. I'll have to use a smaller Phillips bit to unscrew that. And I should be able to pull the drive out like that. And now that that's out, we can start taking out the motherboard. But before we do that, we have to unplug everything that's connected to the motherboard. So we have a few things here. We have our keyboard connector. We have our touchpad connector. And I believe the, this is the FP1. This is the fingerprint sensor right here. So touchpad, fingerprint, keyboard. Um, this is for that I.O. board. This goes underneath the fan and connects to here. And then we have this up here, which I believe is this board up here. This goes underneath the fan as well. And this is that little expansion board for the second solid state drive. And it looks like that's it actually that's connected to this up here. Yes, that's it. So uh, first thing we want to do is disconnect all of those. So we have this little foam piece on top of the keyboard connector so that foam is going to have to come off. Um, for that, you can sort of just lift it. It is held in with tape. So you should be able to peel it back. Be able to get a good grip on there and pull that off like so. Once that's been pulled off, you can lift up the black tab and that should lift up like so, and then that will allow you to actually unplug the keyboard just like that. And we have the fingerprint touchpad, same story. Lift up the black tab, you should be able to lift that up with your fingernail and then pull those connectors right out. We have a fan connector here. This one's a little bit flimsy, so be careful, but that will pull uh, backwards like so, and that will pull right out. And we do have underneath this black tape, we have the antenna wire, so that black tape will have to be peeled off and put that off to the side, and then we can disconnect this, which you can just lift up, and that will come out. And since these two are underneath the fan, the fan is going to also have to come out. So that's held in with two screws, three screws actually. There's one there, there, and up the top. And it's also held in with some tape down here, so that tape will have to be lifted up. And then at that point, the fan is also held into the heatsink by some copper tape, it looks like. So the best way for to remove the whole thing is to also remove the heatsink. So I will remove those screws. It's usually a good idea to go in like a diagonal. They're numbered, so there's four, two, one, three. So you start going loosen one a little bit, then loosen two, then three, and then four like that. And then the whole heatsink and the fan should actually come off like that. And if the cable out, you can see that's out, and that's the thermal paste on there. This is a pretty nice uh, 12th gen Intel processor, so it's got everything built into this one chip. Um, you can see that the memory is soldered in, so that's not upgradable. But with that out, we can now disconnect these two that we're hiding so we can get the motherboard out. So I'll just do the same thing, lift up the black tab, pull the connector out. Same thing here, lift up the black tab and pull the connector out. And now we can start removing the motherboard screws. So we should have one up here, we have one down here, we'll have one there, there. And there's also one hiding underneath that connector there. So Remove those one at a time, and then we'll see if we can get the motherboard out. So take the second screw. And so actually keep in mind that the screw down here that was at the bottom is a little bit, has a thicker head on it. So when you're putting the motherboard screws back in, just remember that that thicker one went down there. And we have the same style thicker screw over here on the side, so keep that in mind also. And uh, one up here is not, so that can go there. Now we're going to want to disconnect the speakers. So there is a little speaker wire here that pulls straight out like so. And then the screen connector down here, which is, has some tape covering it. So I have to remove that tape first. And then we can lift the black tab. And then the screen connector can pull right out. And 
and now we mostly have everything for the motherboard out. So we'll try to lift it up on this side. You should see it lift up like so. And then you should be able to pull the board out. So don't use too much force when you're pulling it out, just to make sure you have everything disconnected. And in this case we do, because the whole board's out. And uh, just like that, that's done. So um, there are some part numbers on the back of the board, so I'll show you that in case you need to know any of that information. Hopefully that will help if you need it. But that's the motherboard out. And now we can move on to the screen. So pretty simple, it's just held on by some hinge screws. So we have one, two, three, four on that side. And another four on this side. So this laptop is actually pretty well designed because it has four hinge screws on each side, which is actually kind of a lot because then there's another one that holds the bottom in. So there's technically five on each side, which is pretty good considering like a lot of HP laptops only have two or, or two and then a small one, a small screw, and then they break a lot. So, but with those out. We can remove the screen, so I'll remove the remaining two on this side here, underneath the tape, and then here. And then to actually remove the screen, we'll lift it up a little bit, and then drop it back down, and then make sure that the cables are completely separated from the laptop. And then just like that, we can separate the bottom of the laptop from the top of the laptop. And there we are. So the only thing really we have left are the speakers, which that pulls straight out. That's just held in by some tape. There's also one here on this side that's also held in by some tape. And then we have this sideboard here. So I can just unscrew that. But before I do, there is also a speaker plugged into it. So that can be unplugged. And then we have these three screws here, here, and here, underneath this tape. Not to mention this big connector on this side, so same story as the other ones, lift up black tab, and then the connector should pull right out, the cable should pull right out, and then you can just lift up this board and then that's out. So that's pretty much it for the disassembly for this laptop. This was a Gateway GWTN141-10BL. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And hopefully this helps. But if you like our videos, feel free to subscribe, and we'll have more videos coming soon.